time to musk up. Top five spicy fragrances for the month of October, the month of Halloween, the month of pumpkin spice lattes. So I figured why not make this video top five spiciest fragrances. There might be six here. Uh, well, there is. Oh, shit. There's seven here. Anyways, so here we go with the first one. First one is Spice Blend. All right. Really like this. I, I really do like it because there is no kind of ambery sweetness in the base here uh in the top you do get some nice snappy ginger and rum but in the mid there's a bunch of spices here galore clove pink pepper coriander nutmeg clove uh clove is one of the one of my favorite spices and it's in this and i think it's giving off this medicinal vibes also with the bay leaf in the dry down the way I explain this is, picture a spice rack in a medicinal cabinet in your bathroom. Weird, but that's just what I get here. The clove and I think the bay leaf just give off this uh, medicinal vibe to me. Mixed with all these spices, it's really, really good. Really enjoy it. Next spicy fragrance for the month of October is Noir A Piece by Frederick Mall. Now the top here is very kind of orangey and rosy, and that goes by a way of geranium and rose. But in the mid, you'll start getting some clove, some black pepper, some cinnamon, and I think there is another spice here, but the main spice that I get here is the clove, which also comes off dry, spicy, fresh spicy, and um, like I said, medicinal. Then in the dry down, I do get a little bit of patchouli, a little sandalwood, a little vanillic as well. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, for the month of October, November, December, this stuff really works well. Like I said, almost a little soapy, but uh, that's still spicy, fresh. Uh, great stuff. So next up is actually my favorite MFK fragrance which is unfortunately discontinued. I don't know why. And this is one of the most unique ambers, personally, I think that's out there and that I own. Really unique, and that is Absolute Pour Le Soir by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. And I think personally that this is a cinnamon bomb with some amber and also some white musks in the base that he typically throws in there that really gives this fragrance throw off the skin, but what really makes this interesting is the cumin note. Now, some say that it might be civet because this does come off a little bit pissy, but personally, I think it's the cumin in here. Uh, a very sour cumin, very warm, enveloping, spicy, but doesn't smell like BO. Sometimes cumin on my skin doesn't smell like BO, and that's the case here. All right, next up on the list is from L'Artisan Parfumer, and that is Mon Numero 10. Now, in a video, Christoph, or Christoph, Christo, <laughs> said uh, this reminded him of a niche spice blend. And personally, I guess I can kind of see that, but I don't really think they smell that similar. Uh, so this is basically another a lot of cinnamon in here uh, some some nice aldehydes as a matter of fact There's also some cardamom uh, I get some leathery facets definitely some smoky facets But in the base what you'll mostly get here is some smoky benzoin Vanillic resinous touches from this fragrance and I think this was really underrated and going for really good prices uh, not that long ago, but not anymore, at least not in these bottles here. Love these bottles. These bottles had some character. I just don't understand why they had to destroy them. Oh, well. Okay, so next on the list is a Lilabo, and this is a black pepper bomb. And to me, this is my favorite black pepper fragrance. It really smells like you're grinding up peppers from a grinder. Gorgeous stuff. 
Quav 23. Overly priced, yes, but is it good? Yes. Made by Natalie Larson. Uh, like I said, blast of black pepper, some labdanum, vanillic, ambery, smoky, leathery, woody, just musky, like a lot of Lilabos are known. This stuff, I really, really like it, but I understand that it's a hard buy for somebody at the at the at five twenty five for hundred ml. Next on the list is Dior Eau Noir, and this is the older formulation. This is a twenty twelve bottle. You can see the CD is disconnected at the cap. Gorgeous stuff. I think the newer formulation is a little bit more mass appealing, but still great. But this stuff is just fantastic. A aromatic, spicy, licorice, sage, thyme, lavender, uh, almost this roasted coffee note. I do get a decent amount of immortel in this, almost this honey-like uh, immortel. Comes off like the juice here, almost... Uh, coniferous really alluring uh just something about this stuff i think this is personally francis kurt john's best creation 